What's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? Mothballs. That's a good answer. How bad was this moth problem back in the day? Moth? Yeah, the moth. Like, they're, you came up with these balls and put them in your <laughs> closet and your drawers. How bad, how intense were moths? Moths must have been fucking gangster, bro. Shut your mouth, funny guy, and make it. Yeah. I Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I'm your host, Guy. And I am Danny. It's everything. What's going on, bud? What's up, man? I was I heard your voice. I didn't see where you were. Oh. Um Alright. I'm right here. Okay. Uh what's up? I just got back from Vegas. You win? Yeah. Uh no. No, not <laughs> yeah, this time. No. <laughs> um I won in spirit. We'll say that. Um. Okay. You churned in butter over there. What the fuck is that sound? <laughs> that is my, it's my water bottle. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, copper, this? so it, it it makes you know sounds when you want copper. Screw so- it. Copper sounds, yeah. Copper sounds. You look like you're an assistant football coach today. Well, you know. It is that time of the year, um, and we got a we got a good. We, we, this, we just played the Eagles yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I hope we won. <laughs> You're dumb. Um, yep, we're either three and one or two and two. Hey. One and, one. and then uh, we play again Thursday, so it's a big week. Big week for football for me. If you want, I can just call the script writer and just let you know how the season ends. Yeah, do that. Why? Why don't you do that? You should do that. Because I don't know them. Oh, I just know of them. (laughs) Um, Vegas, Vegas. Oh, ate a lot of good food, man. Uh, I drank more tequila this last week, and I've drinking in the combined. Probably last two to three years, oh. so it was it, it was a lot, man. All right, um, I learned how to play pai gao. Never played that before. What is pai gao? So it's a poker game. Uh, okay. It's like a it's a it's a variation of a poker game. Um, that's where I lost all my money. I, I won a bunch of money at roulette as usual, and then just go went and gave it back to them at pai gao. So. But it's uh it's it's weird because Pai Gao isn't known for being a uh a, a, it's it's known for a very slow paced uh like a drinking game because you sit there and just order drinks all fucking day. Yeah. Because there's a lot of pushes, which means the house doesn't win or and the player doesn't win. But I'm a I'm a degenerate gambler. I like uh, you know the, I'm I don't get a lot of fun out of just sitting there and not making money. My my whole goal for gambling is to triple quadruple my money that i brought you know yeah so i like those degenerate bets you know that are like you don't ever play blackjack yeah because it's too slow i feel like people lose real quick in that no you yes (laughs) but you went and (laughs) played hold them in that room that room with like 900 people it was mad hot that's that's because i love poker like poker's fun and it it's poker no limit hold them you can also make money very quickly you know those are the games i like where you either win a lot real fast or lose a lot real fast it's just my nature it's exciting you know i have an entire custom poker set and i've used it like once or twice wow yeah it's like 500 chips yeah well you know if it's tough to get a bunch of people together who know how to play you know and the way the economy is set up, people just going to waste money right now, <laughs> is cr- crazy. Yeah. So. All right. But uh, yeah, no, I had a good time. Got to be, I got met my buddy that I used to work with back in the day out there, and you yes. know, got to pick his brain out a bunch of stuff. So. Did you go to the sphere? Uh, no, I did not. I mean, I'm 
spherish enough. I did go see Kill Tony, and that, that was how's that? Oh, so funny, dude! So funny. Yeah, I can't wait for it to be released on YouTube so I can watch it again because I was a little intoxicated. They're gonna release that same one on YouTube. Yeah, all he puts all of the episodes on YouTube. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they put your phone in like this little pouch so you can't record anything or do anything. What do they talk? About? What do they talk about? I kill Tony. Yeah. It's all joke. It's just jokes. Oh. There's not like one jokes. topic. No, they pick they so the way Kill Tony works is he has guests, like comedians come up that have been on the show in the past, but also everybody who goes there can put their name in a hat and he randomly picks people throughout the night to come up on stage and do a minute of comedy. Okay. And then after the minute's over, he interviews them. And usually if it goes well, you know, they'll they'll banter back and forth. If it if they suck, he just he just destroys you. Oh, okay. <laughs> while while trying to help you find funny topics to talk about. Why you know, didn't you like stand up and do it? Um. Well, I didn't have a minute prepared, and I didn't want to go up there and <laughs> get called get called the sphere sixteen times. You think and... I could use? Remember the stand up that I wrote? You think I'd be able to? Yeah, there's some funny stuff in there, but you you got to trim the fat, man. There's, you know, you know what I mean. You got to trim the fat. Got to trim the fat, huh? Yeah, it's got to be set up punchline, set up punchline, set up punchline, especially yeah. with when you only have a minute. You know, when when you become uh Joe Rogan, Tom Segura, like Dave Chappelle, all the I'm saying when you have a big platform like that, yeah. That's when you can slow down and and get it, you know what I mean? But until until you're famous and people are interested in seeing you, not just make me laugh, you know. When people are buying tickets to see you as a comedian, that's when you can inject a little more fat and fluff up your stuff and dig into the details or, you know, have those longer stories. <clears throat> when we went to see Joe Rogan. Oh, dude, I remember. He, his openers were funnier than him. One of his openers is the host of Kill Tony. Oh, well, that makes sense. You know, the real skinny, we thought he was kind of gay guy. The first one. We thought that was he was kind of gay guy. Yeah, he was very skinny and had a, a higher pitched voice. That's Bro. Tony Hinchcliffe. You were baked. I know. I remember. <laughs> yeah. And then the next person, uh, his uh, feature act in, in between the opener and Rogan was uh, Andrew Santino, and he's got a pod. He's got a couple podcasts. One he does with Bobby Lee called Bad Friends, and the other one is his called Whiskey Ginger. Is Bobby Lee that dude from Mad TV? Yeah, the little Asian guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bad Friends is funny, bro. It's they're they play off each other so well. Yeah, you're definitely a podcast guy. Anytime we're in the car, it's podcasts. Yeah, I uh, I like uh, make me laugh, funny man. You know, I don't want to just sit there and like I've listened to music so much. You know? Shut your <laughs> shut your mouth, funny guy, and make it. <laughs> Remember uh, Wedding Crashers? Yeah. He's yep. making him the balloons. I want a bicycle clown. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to make you a bicycle, but I don't want to make you a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth, buddy guy, and make it. Oh, he's so hey. funny, too. Oh, Vince my Vaughan. God. Vince Vaughn is fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah. I agree. Oh, my God. So, bro, if What's you up? had to pick one animal... You could never eat again. What what animal would you pick? Octopus. No, I'm saying like the out of the main ones like chicken, beef, pork. Chicken. No. Chicken. You wouldn't be able to have wings anymore. Nah, I don't eat them that no often. Buffalo, anyways. not buffalo cheese don't dip care. or whatever nope. it is. Mm mm. No. Nope. I mean, honestly, I could own. I would be happy if I only was able to eat beef again. Um, you could take everything else if I, I could easily survive just on beef. Um, but Bacon, I do like ham, I do, sausage. I do like pork. That's why I said take the chickens. Take you them. know that chickens are scavengers, right? Which means they'll eat dead animals. Yep. They wait to, yeah. And yeah. People eat so, that shit. So do a lot of fish. They just eat whatever. Comes All right. So, by. so don't ever eat chicken again. Let's start on that. Uh, um,. Okay, sure. Yeah? 
Okay. That's good. It's a start. <laughs> Sounds like an ending to me. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's, the, it's the end of an era. <laughs> there you go, dude. You know how many chicken wings I've eaten? I know. That's awesome. Dude, I, Super, so Bowl, I'll order, Super Bowl, I'll order 50 wings just for me. Well, you can't anymore. T- starting today, right? Wait, what? I th- <laughs> <laughs> that you're committing to not killing and slaughtering chickens uh, and eating them. All right. For no. real? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. No shit. Yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not really going to do it, are you? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're full send, baby. Really? No more chicken. No shit. Is there a chicken in that? <laughs> um, no, I have to eat chicken. I don't have a choice. You just you just committed. You promised and swore it to all of I our listeners. I I did not. Wow. I was. Did you not see the eyes? Every time I said it, that's a. That doesn't. So, what? No, you still your words. It was a verbal I'll, contract. Oh, how about this? I will go out of my way to never order chicken again, but if somebody puts chicken down in front of me, I'm not going to be rude. Does it make sense? Like, if I go to somebody's house and they made chicken, I'm not going to be like, mm You know what? My, You're just my like... Lis- go ahead, finish. I'm going to go, mm My listeners, I promise them. I didn't even promise... I promise you. Yeah. I didn't promise the listeners. Bro. What am I just like? You're what just like? like a chicken. Okay, you're a scavenger. You wait till the body's dead, cooked, and put in front of you. You're a scavenger, just like a I don't, chicken. I don't think the chickens wait for the body to be cooked, bro. <laughs> they, they. I'm just raw. saying. I'm just saying. You just eat dead things. You don't eat living foods like fruit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's. Uh, let's. Let's. So if you're if you're fertilizing a plant, right? What are you feeding it? Sunlight, water. Fertilizing, and giving it extra, give, giving it extra nutrients. Where are we getting that from? Poop. Other dead things. So mm. you're 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 a scavenger, Joe. No, you're just I'm eating not. the fruit of the plant that you that plant used other dead things to help itself grow. Ew. What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah, that's what I said, bro. You just you're off the rails. I. I am off the rails. That's good. <laughs> We're both talking about the same thing. I gotta go. <laughs> oh, is a hot dog a sandwich? You answer the question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? It's not real food, but is um, it a is it a sandwich? Yeah, because it's got bread around bread on. Oh, it could be. Yeah, huh? yeah. No, because subs are sandwiches. Yeah, no, a hot dog would be a sandwich. Hot dog's a sandwich. Okay. Yeah, it's got bread on each side, and it's meat, and meats are in sandwiches. Some people put that nasty sauerkraut shit on it. Um, Hell yeah. Mm, I love sauerkraut. <laughs> it's a German. Why, you don't think hot dog is a sandwich? Uh, <clears throat> a burger is a sandwich. Like, it's... That's more than- Then why don't you say, can I get one hamburger sandwich? Can I get one hot dog sandwich? No, you say, I, can I get a turkey sandwich? Right? Can I get a can I get a chicken club sandwich? So you don't think hot dog sandwich? Not anymore. Ah. Ah. None of it's real food anyway. Okay. We're not. We're, we're not here. Listen. Okay. You're. I'm, what? Do you think a hot dog is a sandwich? No, Why are you answering no, the question? No, I, no I, I asked you. I don't think it's a sandwich, but go, let's. I, I, I digress. Let's move on. You move on. What's the weirdest smell you've ever smelled? Mothballs. That's a good answer. I hate that smell. <clears throat> it's so That's gross. a good answer. And it sticks with you too afterward. How 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 bad was this moth problem back in the day? Moth? Yeah, the moth. Like they're 
you came up with these balls and put them in your <laughs> closet and your drawers. Yeah. How bad, how intense were moths? Moths must have been fucking gangster, bro. For them to invent mothballs? <laughs> The like were they smell, bro? Were they an invasive invasive? Say it. You invasive. say it. <laughs> were they an invasive species? Maybe. Like just just invading people's fucking bedrooms they and seem closets weak and, and just, frail though. That's and I think they're like they're you like cough on them and they fucking fall apart. <laughs> they're like the wish dot com butterfly, but like yeah, you know what I mean? Like fucking. Who ordered this butterfly off Timu? It just ate through my my shirt. Timu. <laughs> Your butterfly just ate through my shirt. I'm just saying, like, how bad was the moth problem? Probably. Where everybody's everybody's grandparents had mothballs. Seems like it would be pretty bad, I guess. Because them shit said are everywhere. Are they extinct? Because I haven't bought a mothball once in my life, Me and and I've never seen any in my closets. <laughs> Did they just de? Are they not gay anymore? They they used to just be in the closet raiding people's shit. <laughs> eating, eating your grandma's nightgowns, and now they're not gay moths. Huh? Now they're not. <laughs> no more gay moths. <laughs> Chemtrails making frogs gay, making moths straight. Whoa, <laughs> chemtrails, <laughs> bro! Holy shit! What are you smoking, bud? I'm high on life, my friend, and caffeine. Double shot. No, this is quad shot. Quad shot. You didn't French open a, a poison at the beginning of this episode. I was say I was saving it for the middle. The middle. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's gonna be a surprise guest, and you just ruined it. Thanks. Oh, thank you. My bad. What's something that everyone looks stupid doing? Ever sneezing. Yawning. Oh, that's a good that's a good answer. Yo, I remember I saw a guy yawning. I was in traffic when I lived in LA and a guy was yawning. It looked like he was screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> it was so fucking funny. <laughs> he's like <laughs> like yeah. <"Yo." laughs> it oh looks my like God. he's shouting. <laughs> it was really funny. But yawning, yeah. Everybody looks stupid yawning. Mm. Sneezing is a close second, I think. <laughs> you know. Uh, well, I w- I want to. S- I got an answer, but I'm I'm pretty sure everybody doesn't do it. You ever uh, Q-tip the inside of your ear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't make that weird. That weird. I've seen uh, you. I've seen you. You haven't. I have. You see me yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> you ever you ever double up? Do both sides at the same time? No. You're in a, you're in a rush, but you know you're not no. really in a rush. You just want to feel the tingle on both sides. You're like <laughs> you're retarded, <laughs> bro. Q-tips. Everybody makes that Q-tip face. Nobody does. Not yeah, that I know of. That's that's just me. Yeah, I think so. Oh. It's like hits that spot you can't reach. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did you see uh did you see Kamala say that uh if someone in, if someone uh I tried not to before you even did I see Kamala say, I tried not to see her say it. <laughs> Whatever you're about to say. No, she said uh if someone breaks into my house, I'm shooting them. I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah. And then her 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 uh team walked it back the next day. She was joking. She was joking. Did they There's a lot of... <clears throat> so when she was in San Francisco, uh, she tried to put into build a... That all, all guns were illegal in the city. Like, they tried to make that happen. Yeah. They put... I think it was, like, in 2009 or something. They tried to... You can look it up. Or here, Joe can post a link here, or a video here, where, uh, sure. that has all the facts. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, she, she, you know, the fact that she's going around saying she's not trying to take your guns, she's openly admitted to try to take people's guns her yeah. whole career. So, um, if you have an AR-15, you should not vote for her because she doesn't want you to have your AR-15. So, my favorite, my favorite thing, I, the best thing I ever learned was 
vote with your dollars, right? Our election system is kind of a joke lately. So how are you going to vote? Vote with your dollars. <laughs> Spend it where you think uh, those people deserve your money. Yeah. And uh, if you've spent your money on an AR-15, why would you want somebody to take it from you? Doesn't make sense to me. You could sell it back. That's called a a mandatory <laughs> confiscation, <laughs> not a gun I buyback. Know. It's bullshit. I know, I know buddy. But anyways. I a joke. <coughs> trying to get me fired up here this morning? I'm Gotta bring sorry. up guns? All right, I'm sorry. Hey, so if you, if you had to stop someone like could... Someone's like, listen, you have to stop watching football for 20 years, but mm -hmm. at the end of the 20 years, the Buccaneers will win the Super Bowl. But they're not going to win it in those 20 years either way. Would you stop watching for 20 years? Knowing that your team won't win for 20 years, but you could start watching and they'll win the first year you start watching again. Is this what it was like to be a Raiders fan? Is this why you're doing this question? Because... Because you thought thought about being a Raiders fan, and I'm not a Raiders fan. Well, you were, and you went more than 20 years without a Super Bowl win. <laughs> <laughs> so is this why you're asking me this? You're trying to make me feel like a Raiders fan right now. I'm asking. <laughs> are you asking me because some of our friends are Cowboys fans, and you want me to make trying to make me feel like a Cowboys fan right now? It's been way longer than. Mm, yeah, it's actually no. The Raiders haven't won it before then. So, um, fuck the Raiders and Mark Davis. Little all right, fucking that man has quite the forehead, doesn't he? <laughs> he has quite the hair. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, um, no, yeah, maybe I don't know. Sure, sure, <clears throat> sure. Probably not. I like. I enjoy football. Um, as I've gotten older, with everything else, I don't have the free time to watch it as much as I used to. But I do. I do enjoy it. I like. I like physical sports. Yeah. Yeah, dude. If there was like a if 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 the media promoted rugby and we had like rugby teams that I could get behind, I'd go watch that shit too because that's fun as shit to watch. Rugby. Yeah, dude. Right. You ever watch rugby highlights? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, those guys are wild. What's the funniest joke you know by heart? Funniest joke I know by heart. Why did the chicken cross the playground? Why, to, Joe? To get to the other slide. <laughs> I couldn't think of any other jokes. <laughs> you wrote a stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't remember any of it. <clears throat> Hi, dude. Oh. Okay. I'm a little cone head. All right. That's my dog. What are what are some of the unwritten rules where you work? Where I work? Yeah. What do you got unwritten rules at your job? Unwritten rules. Um, I don't know what you mean. I guess uh, expand like like stuff people know that they need to do or they can't do on a daily basis at your job, but it's not written anywhere. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think so. Where I work, I don't care enough about that place. Written rules. Unwritten, unwritten, unwritten <laughs> rules. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What are you? What are you smoking, bro? <laughs> no, I just don't know what you mean. Unwritten rules. That doesn't make so any like, sense. So, like at my job, uh, nowhere written anywhere for us about lunches, right? We know on day side, uh, we we taking a lunch at some point, yeah. and and also, it's unwritten. You know, you go eat and you come back as quick as possible. You don't. I, nobody goes for like an hour lunch. What? All right. No, because we're not. Pay, I mean, we're, we're all salaries, so it's just go. No, go you eat, take your fucking lunch. Fuck that. You guys aren't nope. slaves. Un, it's unwritten. We don't. We go eat real quick and we come back because there's a lot of work to do. No, fuck that. 
I'm just. I'm telling. Listen, I'm uh, telling bro. you about the. Are you a slave <laughs> to the man? <clears throat> you don't get to dictate. You're the a slave written, to un- the man. You don't get to dictate the unwritten rules of my job. You don't work there. You're a slave. Shut up. Who's toilet your paper. Sla- who's, over- who's your slave hey. master, bud? Toilet. Jesus Christ Himself. <laughs> toilet toilet paper. They treat hey. you like a slave. Take your break. Toilet- Take toilet your break. Pa- toilet. Toilet paper. Over or under. Over. There's a patent. There's Hold a on. patent that shows Hold. you how it's supposed to go. Hold and it's on. over. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. What? That's the, that's the only right answer, guys. Here's God the patent. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a the patent. The only right answer. Have you seen the patent? Yeah, but I don't give a fuck about Patents that. Appear. I don't give a, Listen. I live my life. <laughs> to, quote so, to quote someone <laughs> special in my life, I measure with my heart. Okay. I measure with my heart. That being said, I measure with my heart. Yeah, thing. If if it doesn't feel right in here, I don't do it. All right. Over feels right every time. It's, it's the, the only, right only answer. answer because that's the what's on the pen. Plus, who the hell should reach underneath toilet paper to grab it? Like, what? Come on, I don't people. Know. I know a, I, I know a few people who ha, who do the under and the reason is because the cats. Um I know a person who does the under and they don't have cats. So No, that's just retarded. They are left-handed though. So it's almost I'm the left-handed same thing. and it's, it's almost what, the same what, thing. Do you want to fight? <laughs> I'm left-handed. So I'm going to be left-handed. Uh, if animals, hey, hey. If animals could talk, which one would be the rudest? We know it's not a dog. Cat. Cat, 100%. That was my first thought. Cat. Yeah. Mm. The rudest. Yeah. Sorry, Either my dog doesn't have his cone on, so I have to keep looking back at him to make sure he's not oh, chowing he on his paw. He's doing good? Yeah, it's, it's healing really good. So. It's good. Yeah. Gotta, I told you, man, you can't go running... Uh, on the south side, people get shot. Now your dog got shot. I'm glad it's healing well. Um, no, he looks like a co- he looks like a cop, dude. They shoot at cops down there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what to do? Yo, I, w- I went to an estimate on Hope Street. The name is Hope Street. Yeah. And it was, the estimate was for bullet holes in the house. Yeah. 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 So you know, it's that's something that's something we have a a weird thing to doing. What is something you'll never own? A Porsche. I'm gonna name my daughter that. Le- Alexis. I'm gonna name my daughter that. What was the oh. question? What? I don't know. Uh, we'll just <laughs> we'll move. Let's move on. Um. <clears throat> hey Dave, you got a lot of questions over there, bud. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the strangest place you ever urinated or? What's the strangest place you ever pissed or shit? Beep, beep. You ever been hiking and had to shit real bad? Yeah, I tried to hike the Pacific Crest Trail, remember? Oh. (laughs) Yeah. So we were trying trying to do that. Dig the hole, do that without somebody else hiking by you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I can see that being weird. Um, Same side of a mountain for sure. Trying to drop a deuce on the side, <laughs> the side of a mountain, yeah. Uh, like, you know, and you're only walk. You only want. You're supposed to stay on trail most places, yeah. uh, you know. So like you're, <clears throat> you're only getting like 30, 40 feet Boys off the cuts, <laughs> uh, off the trail, trying to find a rock to get behind. Hoping there's um, no rattlesnake back there. Yeah, dude, fucking rattlesnakes. Uh, I have seen somebody shit on a a slide. On a on like a kid's playground, yeah. just bend over, cock over, and fucking t- down the slide. Um, that's they didn't slide down it. No, they didn't slide down it. Um, a, a kid did. After <laughs> we we left, that was that's that's horrible. Strange. <laughs> that's strange that, that's the answer to the most. What's the most horrible thing you've ever done? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't do it. Oh my god! It wasn't Probably my dared shit. him to though. <laughs> Probably. I probably had a part in it, for sure. <laughs> I was young. We were young and dumb, man. I used to get drunk under the... I used to get blackout drunk under the bridge when I was, like, 15, dude. Like, 
Blackout you drunk. Didn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why'd you add some bass into that? <laughs> yeah. That's just how I felt. Um, I measure my heart, man. What do you want me to do? For sure. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, totally. Get it. Um. Hmm. What's the best inside joke you've been a part of? I love inside jokes. I'd love to be a part of one someday. The best inside joke I've ever been a part of. These are some yeah. weird ass questions. I don't remember like inside jokes with people. What the hell? You don't remember inside jokes? I remember what an inside. I know what inside jokes are, but I don't remember any <laughs> inside jokes I've had with people. My legs hurt. My legs hurt real bad. Oh, that's an inside joke. <laughs> Nobody else gets it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cause you're a fool, bro. That's what that is. Cause you're a fool. Any dude, anytime we've been around, I've done it. People just like, the fuck's wrong with this guy? <laughs> <Like a robot. laughs> Yo, that's what happens when a fat, a fat <sighs> obese person sits in a fucking lawn chair for too long. <laughs> can we get? A, can we buy a couch? <laughs> I said, bro, we need to buy a couch because I was just digging into my legs. So this fool is always like. Oh, can we please buy a couch because my legs hurt? <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I said at all. But this world changes it around into some stupid shit. Holy shit. <clears throat> Bro, I, I, can, I can sit in a lawn chair all day now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. How, how long do you, you think you can sit in a lawn chair? How many <laughs> hours straight? How many, how many hours straight do you think you can sit in a lawn chair? Oh, without standing up? Yeah. Oh. That would sounds like a nightmare. I'm just saying, how many do you think you do? I don't know. I probably uh, until I have to go to the bathroom. Come on, man. Give me a time limit. What are you doing here? Uh, six hours. I don't know. Six hours. That's it. I, I mean, if I, if I was forced to, and like someone was like, "Hey," I bet I could sit in a lawn chair longer than you. Okay. Good for you. I think I could do seven. You don't think you could do eight? I could do eight. <laughs> this is retarded. <laughs> I could do nine hours. You know, I could do, do 10. ten. You, I'll. How about this? I think I could sit in a lawn chair for twelve hours. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> do <Yeah>. it. <laughs> what do I get? I'll do it and record the whole fucking thing. What do I get? You'll know after you do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'll let you what know I, after you do it. What I would get would be some hurt legs and ask people, but we give him a couch. That's what I get, you son of a bitch. How many? Hey, let's bring it back to your chickens. How many chickens? How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? You think? What? How many chickens do you think it would take to kill an elephant? Like peck at it to kill it? To, to get? Are you gonna strap knives to its legs, motherfucker? What do you mean? How many chickens would it take to kill an elephant? I don't understand the like. They're not gonna be able to kill the elephant. So no. 10 million chickens couldn't kill an elephant, you don't think? I don't think so. Okay. So the answer is impossible. There's not, there is an <laughs> yes. amount. Okay. All You're right. You're all going to be pecking at the feet and you can just stomp on them. All right. Are they jumping Kill. on top of each other? Have you seen World War Z? You saw that movie, right? Yeah. With the like the fucking zombies, yeah, they they can pull that shit off, dude. Just climb up each other to get up to, to its eyes. Climb up on each other. Yeah, they're evil chickens too. Oh, I didn't think about the evil chicken from Family Guy. You get a couple of those. Girl. I don't know what that is. You don't watch Family Guy? Fuck no, that show's not funny. Seth MacFarlane's not funny. Any movie he's been in is not funny. Any TV show he's made is not funny. Just facts. Was it at the end of it? <laughs> How many chickens do you think will kill an elephant? Again, the um, chickens aren't evil, so why are they killing the elephant? They're hungry. They're scavengers. They wait for them, their their other ch fellow chickens to die, and then they eat them. What's the weirdest thing a guest has ever done to your house? These are some weird questions, bro. I... Uh... The weirdest thing a guest ever brought into my apartment? No. Weirdest thing a guest has ever done at your house. Oh. I don't... 
guests don't bring weird stuff usually. I don't. I didn't say bring. I said done. <laughs> done. <laughs> guests don't do weird stuff. I guess. Okay. All right. I've never had a guest like do anything weird. Am I interviewing Dave today? What is going on? No. Hi. No, I just don't understand any of your questions are so weird, and I don't think any guest has brought anything weird or done anything weird. (laughs) Done anything weird at my place. Okay. What what has a guest done that's weird at your place? Because I don't have it. I don't have. Oh, my God. There's one dude. Dude, he came and stayed with me for like probably a weekend, a couple, two, three days. All he did was eat fruit the whole time. That was so weird. <laughs> yeah, guests guests have come to my place and eat nasty fucking burgers and shit. So yeah, there's uh, the weirdest thing. Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Uh, I remember one time a guy carried around a big old uh, tomahawk steak through your through your kitchen when I was there, like it was a like it was an axe. What? You don't remember that? He had a big old tomahawk steak, no. and he was. Yeah, dude, we, we, yeah. Machete? No, tomahawk steak. Oh, oh, like a food. Yeah. Oh, David. I do remember that, actually. Walking around like he was like killing people with it. I'm pretty sure every person who has ever stayed, come to stay with me has at least masturbated once or twice. So. Not when I came, I was was on Richardson. Jerked up. Maybe not this time. But in the past, I'm sure. Jerked off. I, it's weird to think about, but that's probably the strangest thing a guest has ever done in my place. I have, jerked off. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I ever visited you and jerked off at your place. I don't think I have. Okay. All right. I can keep myself under control. Okay. And now I don't even do that shit. It's been a while. Right. Yeah. Um, that's good to know. You brought it up. <laughs> Fool. Your questions are so fucking weird today, bro. Uh, what what used to be considered trashy, but now is very classy. Being whores. You think being a whore is classy now? No. Yeah. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. No. They want you to think it's normal and right. We we've uh, we've we don't slut shame anymore. We'll say that, but it's not also it's also not considered classy. Like I have a good one. Uh Please. living living in your living in your van by the ocean. Like van van life. Oh that yeah. Used to, that used to be considered homeless, uh poor people activities. Now it costs a couple hundred thousand dollars to do it yeah. correctly. You know? So Yeah. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. That's okay. a good answer. All right. Yeah. That's a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. All right. You're Circle right, gets family. a square. Let's, let's move you. on. So yeah. that was a good answer was family feud not oh i would love i used to love family feud man yeah you don't love Steve it Hart- well it's gotten uh, it's a little commercial yeah <clears throat> i don't know it's a little commercial. if peanut butter wasn't peanut butter what would it be called not peanut butter right if it wasn't called peanut butter what would it what should it be called Oh, but it's still got the same ingredients? Yeah. Oh, so the name. Just the name. Yeah. Um, Right. As in, what would it be called? (laughs) You said if peanut butter wasn't peanut butter, though. So I didn't know you were talking about the name. All right. I got it. I got it. (laughs) It's me. It's me. I'm I'm just not asking you questions. (laughs) No, these questions are just fucking weird. Um, (laughs) Nut butter. No, let's nut fuck cream, it. nut cream, <laughs> <laughs> nut cream. That's what we call it, nut cream. What else we'll would right. it be called? We'll we'll be right back. <laughs> what else would it be called then? <laughs> nut cream wasn't a good answer there, bud. <laughs> we'll be right. This episode brought to you by Happy Nuts Comfort Cream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Happy Nuts. We appreciate the sponsorship. Uh, if you don't like chafing, you want some uh, sweat protection, odor neutralizing, anti bat wing, preventative chafing, also for soothing. Man, it's in. It's got a manly scent, lotion powder. 
Happy nuts. Lotion powder. Happy nuts. Uh, yeah, I thought the same thing. Nut cream. That's, that's exactly what I thought. So, <laughs> nut cream. Cream I thought nuts. it was good. I th- I creamed, Cre- creamed, creamed nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> creamed nuts. That's good too. <laughs> so I answered it correctly. They're good. That's good. That's good. Good. What would what what would be what would be the worst buy one get one free sale of all time? I don't, <laughs> the question's bogus. Huh? I didn't figure it's bogus. What's the worst buy one get one free? Yeah. Okay, let's let's flip it. What's the, what would be the best buy one get one free? Like a house. <laughs> that great good answer. Good answer. You buy a house, you get a property. Yeah. You get one free. Yeah. The the other the vice versa Hold doesn't on. work, I don't think. Yes it does. Now let you, now you own all this property. You got to sell some of it. Why? It's buy one get one free time. What are you selling? It would suck to sell that house, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's a good answer. Oh, oh. So something super expensive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, are you tired today? No, I'm. I just woke up. I'm pumped up with caffeine. I'm wide awake. All right. What's what's the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? <laughs> Dude. The creepiest thing you could say to a stranger on the street. Yeah, I while like, you're walking I like, by. You have beautiful feet. You look so much better awake. <laughs> You've used that line, huh? No, I just thought of it. <laughs> that was weird, dude. <laughs> I just thought of it. <sighs> Bro, what where did you get these questions, man? I was just this is just how I think this is what I think, man. Alright. If you were arrested f- with no explanation, what would your friends and family assume you had done? <clears throat> Told the cop he doesn't have jurisdiction over me and they go fuck himself. So they put me in jail, kidnapped me illegally because mm. they don't have jurisdiction over me. That's what people would think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> can can confirm. Okay. <laughs> oh God. What do you think? Uh, I mean, I I got it. I think I I think I got options. Um. Yeah. Maybe, maybe went into a Seven Eleven, forgot my wallet, and just said "fuck it" and ate everything, anyways. No, <laughs> no. Okay, we'll we'll get uh, we'll skip that. Why is Seven <laughs> Eleven? Uh, eh, you know, you sometimes you run out the house because you need a, a a midnight snack, and you look in the fridge, nothing's calling your name. You run down to a Seven uh... Eleven. And, uh, you know, your hours you see are the, bad. So 7-Eleven would be the only place you could have gone. To. The, 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 they got the chip aisle. They got some ice cream. They got like frozen burgers and stuff. And you're just like, oh, fuck, I forgot my wallet. You bust open a bag of chips and just start banging them shits out right there in the aisle. I, uh, grab candy bar. Yo, uh, when I drink. was eating poorly, those cheeseburger bites. You, bro. You told me that they were a God's gift f- from heaven. Many, many times, and you asked me countless times, have you tried the cheeseburger bites yet? <laughs> have you tried them? And I, to this day, I haven't tried them, I don't think. Wow. Well, you've gone to 7-Eleven. Why haven't you tried it? I haven't, I haven't gone in a, while, in a long time. Um, so that was one of my options, I think. The other one might be um, finally snapping and murder, murdering people. I don't think so. No? There's one okay. critical point in your life where I thought, wow, he, he, he didn't commit that murder. And I'm proud of him. Oh, well, you, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm very proud of you for not. Um, I don't know, man. Killing. What do you What do you think? If you heard, yo, D got arrested. First thoughts. 
Man, it would be like some kind of assault. <laughs> See? See? There it is. <laughs> but it wouldn't be murder. Oh, um, assault. A simple assault. But that, that same time mm. that I was talking about earlier, you didn't commit an assault either. So Yeah. I'm proud of you. That's that's called self control, buddy, because I know. Sorry for all that, guys. You know. I had a long weekend in Vegas. Did I try to zin for the first time? A zin? Yeah, they're all the rage with the, the, the kids these days. Zins. Wow. So of like that. it's um you know, like chew, like chew tobacco. Yeah. Well, they've evolved, right? And now they have these little pouches that also don't have tobacco. It's pure nicotine. So just threw one of those in my lip during the Kill Tony show. And I was, first of all, before I, I did it, I was, uh, I was, I mean, I had been drinking all afternoon, day. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but it fucking, like, sobered me up and focused. And, but then afterwards, I came back down to drunk, Drunksville. <clears throat> all right yeah that's okay to put that on here yeah i don't care all it's right. alcohol well yeah what's isn't a zin it's nicotine oh okay yeah uh, i didn't nick i didn't know nicotine did that shit to you though sober yeah a lot of people um a lot of people think nicotine is not bad for you it's the tobacco yeah, it's all these uh, chemicals and shit. Right. Too. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what the hell is his name? Mm -mm. Anyways, uh, there's a... Uh, not a health guy, but like... Uh, I think I've seen what you're, what you're thinking of. If I can find but the there, video, I'll put it in. There's uh, there's studies that, th that say low doses of nicotine is actually uh, help for your... It's, not it's not bad for you okay and it does help you like focus and you know think quicker and stuff like that yeah <laughs> hmm yeah i think i've seen something on the nicotine too um uh, what is the most inappropriate or most embarrassing place you've ever farted when i was in like sixth grade i had a paper fall off the desk or something like this and this cute girl was there, and I went over to get it, and I farted. Yeah, I'll, so I'll do. Was... I'll do. You. Not, I'm not a like. I don't try to be a one upper, but I, I'll, I'll do you one better. Third grade. I remember being at play on um, playtime. <laughs> play not time. only, not only did I fart, but I sharted. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I was known as that kid. <laughs> so everybody knew you started too. Oh yeah, I had to go home. <laughs> I had to, I, I went to the nurse's office and then I went home. You were, you were known <laughs> as the sharder when you were little, <laughs> bro. I don't think I'm I known as the sharder. No, 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 no. You were known let, as the let, kid that sharded. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I was known as the kid who who uh, sharded in, in third grade. Really? Pretty. I mean, what else would you be known? How as? have I never known this? <laughs> I didn't fucking know you in third grade, bro. <laughs> no, but you never told me this story before. Right. You're, you're the sharder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've never sharded. You were. I've sharded. You were. I've sharded. Hold on, hold on. You were known as the sharder in third grade, and you never told this story before. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Some hey, some things you save for the podcast, bro. Like, what the fuck? Wow, you hold on. You haven't sharded. I've sharded so many times after that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember, man. My, oh shit! The way the way my life is set up, I I enjoy it. I do things to enjoy it. So sometimes I eat some questionable food I've never had. Are you before shit your from... pants on purpose? <laughs> No, no, it's never on purpose. Maybe once on purpose. <laughs> purpose. <laughs> Maybe what the fuck? Yeah. All right, that's angry. enough for today, I think. Wow. Right. Okay. <laughs> I shot for fun. I don't like being here. <laughs> Yo, there you go, dude. What the fuck? Wow.
Okay, Joe that guy. En- that was enlightening. Yeah, this has been it's been good, man. I, I haven't seen you in so long. It's been good to see your face. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm glad Vegas was uh, okay for you. You had a good time. Yeah. Thieves. Coconut, coconut, coconut pie. Coconut, coconut, coconut pie. Godspeed. (laughs) Godspeed. (laughs) Fuck. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. Bro, uh, I think we need to meet in person and uh, talk about where the show is headed.